This story is created by a parent like you, using Tailbot. Kiera's Quest for Peace in the Fire Nation A Special Bedtime Story for Kiera Once upon a time, in a land warmed by the glow of ever-burning fires and molten lava, there lived a young girl named Kiera. The Fire Nation was her home, a place where dragons soared across the sky and the earth rumbled with power. But despite the nation's fierce reputation, Kiera was known for her gentle heart and her unyielding dream of a world at peace. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, bathing the sky in a fiery orange, Kiera sat by the hearth, listening intently to her grandmother's stories. Long ago, her grandmother whispered, the Avatar brought balance to the world and united the nations. It is said that only someone with a pure heart can find the Avatar and seek his guidance to maintain that peace. Kiera's eyes sparkled with determination. I will find the Avatar and learn how to bring lasting peace to our world, she declared, her voice steady and sure. That night, Kiera tucked herself into bed, her dreams filled with adventures and the legendary Avatar Aang. In her heart, she felt an unexplainable pull towards her destiny, one that would soon lead her on an extraordinary journey. The next morning, Kiera woke to find her room bathed in a soft, golden light. She felt an unusual warmth in her chest, and as she looked down, she noticed a peculiar glowing mark on her hand. It was the symbol of the Avatar, and it seemed to beckon her forward. With no time to waste, Kiera quickly packed a small bag with essentials and took a deep breath. She turned to her grandmother, who placed a gentle hand on her shoulder. Trust in your heart, Kiera. Let it guide you to the Avatar, she said, giving Kiera a map marked with a spot deep within the Fire Nation. Kiera embarked on her adventure, navigating through the familiar yet mysterious lands of her home. Mountains loomed overhead, and the ground was warm beneath her feet. She crossed paths with animals of all kinds, from the tiniest lizard to the grandest dragon. Each creature she met seemed to sense her goodwill and showed her kindness in return. As Kiera journeyed on, she encountered a village plagued by discord. The people argued day and night, their anger threatening to tear their community apart. Kiera approached them with a smile, offering to help them find common ground. With patience and empathy, she listened to their grievances and helped them see that they shared more than what divided them. The villagers, moved by Kiera's sincerity, agreed to work together to resolve their differences. Days turned into weeks, and Kiera's travels took her to the heart of the Fire Nation, to the mouth of a great volcano known as the Dragon's Maw. Legend had it that within the smoldering crater lay a hidden sanctuary, a place where the Avatar had once meditated on the nature of peace. As Kiera climbed the volcano's steep slopes, the earth trembled beneath her and she stumbled, nearly losing her footing. But she pressed on, her resolve as strong as the stone beneath her. When she reached the summit, she found the entrance to the sanctuary, a cave adorned with ancient symbols and carvings of dragons. Tailbot, tailor-made tales for your child's dreams. Inside the cave, the air was cool and still. Kiera walked deeper into the darkness, her hand trailing along the smooth walls. Suddenly, the mark on her hand glowed brightly, illuminating the cave with a soft blue light. The walls seemed to come alive, depicting scenes of past avatars and their noble deeds. Then, in the heart of the sanctuary, she saw him, Avatar Aang, his spirit glowing with an ethereal light. Kiera approached him hesitantly, her heart pounding with excitement and awe. Avatar Aang, she spoke, her voice echoing in the chamber. I have come to seek your wisdom. I wish to learn how to bring peace to our world. The spirit of Aang smiled kindly at Kiera. You have already begun your journey, young one, he said, his voice as warm as a gentle breeze. Peace starts with understanding and compassion. You must unite not only the nations but also the hearts of the people. But how can I do that? Kiera asked, feeling a twinge of doubt. By being an example, Aang replied. Live the peace you wish to see in the world. 
share your kindness, your bravery, and your love. The path will not be easy, but you have the heart of a true peacemaker. As Kiera listened, she felt a sense of clarity wash over her. She knew what she had to do. With Aang's words etched in her heart, she thanked him and stepped out of the sanctuary, ready to face whatever lay ahead. Kiera traveled back to her village, sharing stories of her encounter with Aang and teaching the lessons of peace she had learned. She organized gatherings where people from different nations could come together to share their cultures and traditions. With each meeting, the bonds of friendship grew stronger, and the dream of peace seemed more attainable. Years passed, and Kiera became known throughout the lands as the Peacebringer. Her unwavering spirit and compassionate nature had inspired countless individuals to join her cause. The mark of the Avatar remained on her hand, a reminder of the wisdom she carried and the peace she had helped to foster. And so, Kiera's dream of a world united in harmony became a reality. Nations put aside their differences, and people learned to live together in mutual respect and understanding. The Fire Nation, once feared for its power, became a beacon of hope, a testament to the change one courageous heart could bring. As Kiera grew old, she would often sit by the hearth, much like her grandmother had done, and tell stories to the children of the village. She spoke of her adventures, the challenges she faced, and the friends she made along the way. But most importantly, she spoke of peace, the greatest adventure of all. With her tale complete, Kiera would tuck the children into bed, whispering softly, Remember, little ones, peace begins with you. And as the children closed their eyes, drifting into dreams filled with wonder and hope, Kiera knew that her legacy would live on, in the hearts of the young and the world they would create. The End Created by a kid and their parent using Tailbot, click the link in the video description to create your own story.